All right, what's good with it, fellas? Now we got <laughs> patch seven. We haven't did this one in a while, man. So basically, I'm gonna say in the title, this is the best badge for a power forward. But basically, this is the best playmaking badge for any build because a power forward is the new guard build. So you know, we definitely have a few notable badges. You feel what I'm saying? Now we got the bullet passer, quick first step, stop and go. Handles for days, bailout, and unpluckable. But they're all different tiers, especially. But you know, except for the you know the main three and most important badges. You feel me? Those are the main pull ones. So look what I got right here. All I'ma say is, after this patch, bro, this is all you're gonna need. You know what I'm saying? Well, I would say angle breaker is mostly useful. But as long as I played this game, you know, it wasn't like current gen. Remember after that, I think it was patch 5 on current gen where the angle breakers was crazy. Everybody was getting angle breakers. You know, it, it hasn't felt that good since 2K. So I could say 2K17 with the ankle breakers, bro, because everybody was breaking ankles. Now, it's not like that this year. So, you know, I don't get ankle breaker on Hall of Fame, so I might as well not even have it on. You feel what I'm saying? I have not got no ankle breakers. So, right here... I'm just going to tell y'all what is the best playmaking badges and why I use them for my power forward. So, obviously, you see we had handles for days just because it allows you to dribble more longer and get your shot off. You know, you'll get pretty tired pretty quickly if you don't have handles for days, especially on Huff. You got to have it on that Huff. You know what I'm saying? I thought my team was going to get that block, man. What a pity. We got to have all the rest of them are pretty important too because you know when you if you played with your character or your my player before you got all your playmaking badges you know how much of a difference it makes badges like candle for days unpluckable you know quick first step it just makes your character all that much better playmaking badges are the most important ones because you can have shooting badges but you won't be able to get open Unless it's for your playmaking badges, you know what I'm saying? You can have all the shooting badges in the world, but if you can't get open, that's it. So you see, I'm gonna hit a guy with, you know, I'm gonna hit him with the drill moves. Then I'm gonna hit him with the stop and go, and then I'm gonna draw a double team. I'm gonna pass it out to the three point line. He's going to hit a green. There we go. I hit him with that stop and go. That's the one of the most overpowered playmaking badges in this game, just because you could be standing there just. It just catches so many people off guard, guys. If you don't have the badge, you're, you're going to need it. It's just so much of a quick burst. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know how to use stop and go for the longest time, bro. I swear to God, I didn't know how to use it. I've been going through at least three videos wondering how to use that badge. Because it was so mysterious to me. Like, how can I use it? Like, do I just stop and then I go again? No, you have to stop and then, you know, just turn in the opposite direction you know what I'm saying so if you're going left just make a sharp turn right that's basically what you have to do you know what I'm saying I'd explain it further but that's not the point of the video so y'all I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to use the stop and go badge it's one of the fastest you know craziest badges in the game you know what I'm saying if you if you went against a person that honestly abused the badge you will understand how confusing and, and how careful you have to guard somebody who abuses it you know what I'm saying especially if they have it on Hall of Fame I have it on gold and y'all see how fast it is if you have it on Hall of Fame it's just another level to it guys so I advise you to have that badge always because it always come in handy and start using it guys it gets you open quickly you know what I'm saying it gets you open pretty fast you have to have all these other badges too just like unpluckable because if you use a stop and go <laughs> if you use the stop and go badge and you run into somebody anything it could be the back of somebody the day late you're going to lose the ball so you want to have the unpluckable just because you, you're going to need it guys because honestly it doesn't really work if you don't have unpluckable on somebody could do a press square when you do the stop and go right into them and you're going to get ripped so you're going to need stop and go you're going to need badges like that of course i'm not even going to go over badges like quick first step because you know why you need that man you know why you need it and in 2k20 actually you didn't even need it in a hall of fame if you remember scoring machine builds one of the best builds in the game which we call the bp build it had goal first step you know what i'm saying and it was one of the best builds in the game but if that build had hall of fame quick first step i guess if you get the legend don't you all your badges go up a tier or something or you just you just get extra badge points i don't even remember it 
But, eh, actually, that's crazy. Yeah, I think, can you, I forgot how it was. I think in 2K20, all you did is get extra badges for each category. You couldn't get it on Hall of Fame. So, I guess that will be 2K19. Okay, yeah, that's 2K19. 2K20, one of the best builds with the BB build. It only had a quick first step on gold. That's how you know. But this year, yes, you're going to need it on Hall of Fame just because, you know, I think it's just that much more important because everybody could do everything on the floor. And if I could dribble just as good as you, play make, you know, saying IQ, uh, shoot, finish at the rim, and even play defense, but you have cold quick first step, you're still at a disadvantage, you know what I'm saying? There's just no point to do it this year. That's why I love 2K20 because that build was so unique. My, my, my score machine build back in 2K20, it was so fun to play with because not everybody could go up and dunk like I do. It was just... It was more fun to do because I was always a threat on the floor to hit a shot and, you know, drive to the bucket and get a dunk. But, you know, I don't, it's just not like that this year, you know what I'm saying? I get that little green. That's handle for days. If I didn't have handle for days, I couldn't be able to get that shot off because I would have been huffing and puffing after that second dribble move, you know what I'm saying? That's how much you want to need it. One of the most important ones, though, most important one. That I say that you that's it's a must-have bro if you don't have this one you know what I'm saying you're at a disadvantage and I'm gonna say it's bailout just because it helped me out through so many shots so many tough decisions I go for a shot because I have a quick trigger I have a quick trigger finger so you know when I'm a grand shot all you have to do is just press X pass out of it it's pretty good especially if they're closer to you you're get it off you know nine times out of ten you don't even need it on Hall of Fame you know I think I can get it on Hall of Fame but I don't use it on Hall of Fame because it's a waste of badge points all you needed is on silver and basically your teammate will pass well he will catch the ball out of a pass out situation nine times out of ten it always works and if it doesn't you know that that'll be that'll be that one out of ten time but mostly you only need this badge on silver that's why i said that bullet passer is a much needed badge with that too you know what I'm saying if you don't have bullet passer it yeah it takes centuries to get the ball to your uh your teammates and I, i'm just gonna say that for real from experience you know how good bullet passer and bailout is one of the you know those two must have badges if you are a ball handler at that you know what I'm saying? A power forward. Most power forwards are ball handlers in this game. So I'm going to say yes. You're going to need it if you're a ball handler. Power forward. Whatever you want to call it. You know, 2K21 next gen. Nobody makes point guards. I wanted to go back to it was in 2K20. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think we're going to get that. Yeah. I can't say we're going to get that. Because 2K is going in a different direction for next gen. Just hope 2K22 is more diverse. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of badges that has to go. A lot of badges that have to stay. You know what I'm saying? In 2K, they need to hire me because I know what to do in the game. I know what to do. You know what I'm saying? It's just, hey, some badges that have to go. Special delivery, relay passer. Should have never even been in the game. You know what I'm saying? Just kept Lob City Passer and all those other badges. Because then you're just going to make people exploit the badges. You know what I'm saying? We would have never had that problem with that special delivery overpowered nonsense if you would have just kept it out the game and just kept Lob City Passer. But hey, I'm not a dev, so I wouldn't know. And uh, throughout this video, y'all see Stop and Go activating Mad Times. I say Mad, I don't even know why I say Mad Times. It's just a, something from New York. But y'all see Stop and Go activating Mad Times in this video because that's how important it is. Whenever you're dribbling, and you make a hard stop and a hard turn that is stop and go you're going to need that and it makes your move so much more unpredictable because if i'm just driving if i'm just dribbling the ball left i could do it behind the back i can keep going to the left if i hit that westbrook um signature size up or i can just do a sharp turn back to the right side with stop and go right to the paint especially on one-on-one -on -one situations say i'm in the stage one-on-one -on -one, it's the most useful badge in the game when it comes to that i would take it over even ankle breaker or tight handles just because it's that good yeah it's that good and i must just say after past seven 
you know what I'm saying? It's one of the best badges. It's going to be one of the best badges in the game until we have the next game, 2K22. You know what I'm saying? One of the best. That's all I have to say. And there's really not much I have to say about it because y'all see how many times it's activated, how much, how useful it is. You see handles for days, quick first step, all those badges you see that's popping up endlessly. You're going to need it to play your game. You're going to need it to play your game, y'all. But honestly, if you like this video, I want y'all to leave a like and like and you know comment, do all that good stuff because I need the feedback. I need the feedback to bring y'all better content. I need the feedback to get better at my craft. I need the feedback to interact with y'all on this channel on a daily because I love y'all. I need y'all. <laughs> I need y'all, man. Let me know if you like this video because, hey, let me know if you use any other playmaking badges and how they affect your game, you know what I'm saying? Because these are the ones I rock out with. Let me know the ones you rock out with. I gotta hit that green. That's a green light. That's a green light, baby. <laughs> I got two I got two good jump shots man if you didn't check out if you didn't check out my last video make sure you check it out guys I have two good jump shots that I can switch around if one's not working and I know the cue for both of them so if you want a good jump shot me just go check out the one I just made you know last video I'm playing around with him now it's, it's, it's over look I'm hitting that stop and go on him he's not knowing what to do I just a bad shot for me that's a bad shot I just took a bad shot. That, that's on me, but if I could have just got a bucket, I could have got a bucket on it. It's no problem. But anyway, let me know if you liked the video. I'm out. Peace. Oh my god. Green light. Oh my oh my god. I killed. Oh! Woo! Nice.